This video is part of a two-part series on how to read a CT scan. In this video, you'll learn the basics of what a CT scan is. In the next one, I'll guide you step-by-step -step through reading an actual scan. First of all, what is a CT? CT stands for computed tomography. Computed means processed by a computer, and tomography comes from the Greek word tomos, meaning slice, and graphia meaning describing or recording. So tomography literally means imaging by slices. Putting it all together, computed tomography essentially means creating cross-sectional images of the body with the help of a computer. It's like slicing a loaf of bread to see each individual layer. CT scans use x-rays, just like traditional x-ray imaging. But while x-ray imaging provides images from a single perspective, CT scans offer a better view by capturing images from multiple angles. The first view is the axial view. Imagine you're standing at the feet of a patient lying down and looking upward. Axial slices give you a view from bottom to top. The second view is the coronal view. Pretend you're slicing a body from ear to ear. These slices give you a view from front to back. The final view is the sagittal view. This is like cutting through the patient from their belly button to their back, dividing the body into left and right sections. These slices give you a view from the side. Now let's run through the procedure. When you arrive at the hospital, the first step is to check in with a receptionist and answer some questions about your medical history. You will then be asked to wear a hospital gown and remove any metal objects, such as jewelry, as these might interfere with the image. Some metal objects, like dental implants or a hip prosthesis, can't be removed, and this is how they appear on the scan. Metal blocks the x-ray and causes streaks or bright spots. Next, a technologist will bring you into the CT scan room, where you will lie down on the patient table. During the scan, the table will slowly move through the gantry while the X-ray tube rotates around you, shooting narrow beams of X-rays through the body. When the exam is complete, you're free to go home. The scan itself usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes. When you're looking at the generated scan, you might think, how on earth can I interpret this if it's only in shades of white and gray? Well, the magic lies in the nuanced variations of these tones. The scanner emits x-rays toward the patient. These x-rays can either be absorbed by the body or pass through and reach the detector. Dense structures like bone absorb more x-rays, giving the image a bright appearance. Conversely, structures such as air and muscle appear darker or even black since they don't absorb as many x-rays and more of the beam reaches the detector. The image's grayscale appearance can be quantified using a measure called Hounsfield units. This number tells you how black or white a structure appears. The higher the number, the brighter the organ. Think of it like a thermometer. The higher the temperature, the more the sun shines. By convention, two structures are used to calibrate all other values. Air is minus 1,000 Hounsfield units, and water is zero Hounsfield units. Since water is the zero point, it helps characterize other fluid types. For instance, ascites typically falls within the range of zero to 20 Hounsfield units, whereas blood is usually between 30 to 70. For example, in this CT scan, the pelvic fluid measures 10 Hounsfield units, suggesting it may be ascites. In another example, the fluid around the liver measures 45 Hounsfield units. Given that the patient presented with trauma, this fluid is more likely to be blood. In medical imaging, clarity is key, and that's where contrast agents come in. These substances contain iodine and are injected into a vein, usually in the arm. Iodine absorbs x-rays far more than surrounding tissues, which makes contrast-filled areas appear brighter and easier to distinguish. For example, here's an image of the kidneys with and without contrast. Notice how the kidneys with contrast appear brighter. You may also notice that the upper part of the left kidney appears darker. This difference in enhancement is caused by reduced blood flow, a finding that would be missed without contrast. Since the kidneys are responsible for clearing contrast from your body, it's important to ensure they're functioning properly. If kidney function is reduced, contrast could potentially cause harm. That's why a quick blood test is done beforehand to confirm it's safe to proceed. 
Thank you for watching this video. You're now ready for the next one, where I explain how to interpret a CT scan.